G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines with Owen Jones from Stesco. It's a Brisbane built aluminium boat. And Owen, uh, what have we got this afternoon? It's a bow rider. Tell us about the Stesco bow riders. Bow rider 520, so this is the second up from the uh, smallest in the range. Um, what are the four that they do? So 490, 520, uh, 550, 580 and 620. A 620, so up to six metres in the bow rider boat. Before we get into the specifics, uh, tell us about the sort of customer that, that takes a bow rider boat. What, what sort of people do you sell it to? First real family boat. So probably step up from a tinny, but uh, someone with some, some kids out about, a bit of tubing, a bit of skiing, a bit of fishing, mix it up. And that's the thing that hits me about these bow rider style boats. If you like fishing and like an electric motor in the front, you can set this boat up for that with that big front deck. But Absolutely. if you want to uh, take advantage of the shade, an optional bimini likes on here, um, and you know maybe a bait board at the back and you're set up as a fishing rig. Absolutely, swap the uh, ski pole for the removable bait board, take the cushions out from the front, you've got a, a all day fishing boat, put it all back in again, take the family out for fish and chips. And I suppose when the family's traveling with you, you've got the, the driver and the helm seat behind the windscreen, but then in the back, you've got the room for a couple of kids on the back storage box. Yeah, if it blows up on the way home in the afternoon, you can come down the back, sit down the back where it's a bit smoother, a bit more comfortable and, and out of the spray. Now, speaking of family boats, a lot of people don't have big garaging space. This uh, single axle trailer, it comes and allows you to maneuver it into a garage and, and height's not a problem? Height's not a problem with the removable bimney, so under 2.1 metres at the windscreen. Um, let's move back to the hull. Tell us um, some of the features of this hull, like why would I buy a Stesco hull over any other aluminium hull? So Stesco is soft ride hull, so more ribs, more bracing than most of the competitors. Um, variable dead rise hull with reverse chines, so quicker out of the water, less horsepower required, less fuel burn throughout the day, uh, and a softer ride, smoother ride, drier ride. And let's take a little bit of the jargon out of it. Uh, to people that might know what a reverse chine is, tell us exactly what they do. So the outside edges of the hull flares outwards and pushes the spray down, lifts the boat up on top of the water quicker, out of the hull faster. Now, this boat, you buy the, the boat, motor and trailer as a package from the dealer. There's an advantage in doing that rather than try to cobble it together yourself. What is that? There is. So the boat and trailer package, we work with Dumbia to put together a suitable trailer package. So five years structural warranty on the hull when it's housed on the factory fitted trailer in either steel or aluminium. And that warranty covers through to the trailer as well? Uh, the boat itself structural and then you've got standard Dumbia warranties yep. on the trailer. And that'll, of course, with the Yamaha, it comes with a standard four-year warranty as well. So this is the 115 on the back of the boat. You may notice that it's in the new pearlescent white cover. They've been, uh, they've been pretty popular. Um, it's a 1.8 litre four-cylinder engine. So imagine a four-stroke engine put up on its end and uh, made for the marine environment. That's exactly what this is. Um, all in all, it's a great looking package. The metallic uh, paint you know, matches the motor. Uh, let's get it on the water and we're gonna come back to you with some performance statistics.
So there you go, that's the Stesco 520 bow rider out on the water here out of Clontarf on Moreton Bay. And it was actually quite a nice afternoon on the bay. We were hoping maybe for a little bit more of a sea breeze to get a chop to test it in some choppy water, but hey, we have to deal with the conditions that we have. Um, what did I like about this boat? Well, firstly, I like the performance with that Yamaha four cylinder 115 on the back. That's the maximum rated horsepower for this craft. And I personally believe you should always put the maximum horsepower on there because you can rev at three and a half thousand rpm and cruise economically all day but when you need that extra power whether it's getting the kids up on the tube or crossing a bar it's going to be there for you so uh, and hey the white yummy looks pretty good as well um really like the fact that the boarding steps and that transom door are a great system and really durable these uh, these factory built aluminium steps you're never going to break them you're never going to have any problems with them and a transom door just makes it that much easier to get on and off the boat both in the water and on the land when you're loading it in the trailer um, really like the rear lounge storage box solution. A lot of boats come with a fold down rear lounge. This one uses that uh, starboard side storage box where you can put a couple of kids on it to transit, but also fill it full of gear and then flip it forward when you need to access those transom uh, panels to access your batteries, your isolation switches, etc. So it's a good solution for that. Um, windscreen is very adequate. Uh, it's good to get in behind the windscreen. This thing goes 71 kilometers an hour at wide open throttle. So it's nice to be out of that, uh, out of the wind when you're traveling along. Uh, also, as a fisherman, I really like that transformable casting deck. Uh, you put the centre uh, the centerpiece in there, it gives you a big full casting deck and pair that with uh, an optional electric motor on the front and you've got a great platform to fish from if you like casting lures or uh, out in the bay, if you want to throw lures at tuna or anything like that, you've got the space to do it. But uh, want to bring the family out, you whip that centre section out and all of a sudden it's a great entertaining boat that you can use bow rider style. Um, let's look at some of the performance statistics for this boat. Uh, the best economy was at 36 kilometres an hour at 3,500 RPM where you got three kilometres per litre of fuel burned. And that's pretty standard for these mid-range Yamahas. Uh, if you drop the hammers all the way down, 6,300 RPM, 71 kilometres an hour, but it drops to 1.7 kilometres per litre burn. So it's pretty standard again in boats this size. If you drive it hard, you're going to pay at the Bowser, and that's uh, you nearly halve the range when you're going that fast. Now, speaking of range, 110 litre fuel tank in this, at the best economy, that gives you over 300 kilometres of theoretical range, and that's well enough for most people's weekends. Um, can't stress enough that getting a factory trailer with this hull gives you the real long hull warranty. You get a five year warranty on this hull if you do it with the factory match trailer. That's actually longer than the, the warranty on the Yamaha, which I think comes in at four years. Um, package prices, uh, as we talked about before, 53,550 for this boat as tested. That's with the metallic paint, the Bimini, um, but boat motor trailer packages start from $46,000 with a Yamaha 90 on the back and from $47,500 with a 115 on the back. That's one of the older grey Yamaha 115s. Or if you want the smaller uh, packages, um, the 490s start from around $42,000. And you can even get packages where you buy just the boat and trailer and you can add your own motor to it. Uh, contact your local Stesco dealer for details. You can see all of the specs about this boat uh, in a future issue of Fishing Monthly magazines or of course go to their website which is stesco.com.au. If you're onto the social media, their socials are down here. Check them out, like them and they'll tell you about their latest models coming out.